What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudoleonte for SureDog.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with Patchy Mix, one of the contestants in the upcoming Bellator Bentaway Grand Prix. Hello, Patchy. Welcome on SureDog. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you doing, brother? I'm fine as well. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, listen, let's you know, just talk straight away about business. I saw that you posted several pictures of you, uh, you know, training across different gyms in the United States. May I ask you, where did you do your training camp for this fight? I did my training camp here in Las, <clears throat> Las Vegas in uh, Extreme Couture. And then I did like a little bit of traveling, but just mostly it was here in, um, at, you know, at Extreme and 10th Planet um, in Las Vegas as well. Um, may I ask also some of your training partners? Uh, my main training car partner is probably like Kobe Fair. He's probably my number one guy. Uh, I'm always training with him. He's a real good wrestler. And then I got like other guys like Danny Gay. Um, no, I don't know. We got a whole uh, list of bantamweights at the gym. So for Farid, Javid Basharat, those two guys, Amir Albazi, um, Cody Stammen. Um, I don't know. Just those, you know, I got a bunch of bantamweights at the gym. So just those yeah. guys really. Some, some quality names you just mentioned. Uh, but who, who is going to be in your corner? I have Nate Pettit, Jake Shields, and then uh, Harry St. Ledger in my corner. So I got a striking coach and then two uh, jiu-jitsu coaches so that will be oh. coming with me. Yeah, of course, two jiu-jitsu uh, jiu coaches, consider that you know, your, your fighting style is mainly based on grappling. Um, You're facing, you're scheduled to face uh, Kyoji Horiguchi at Bellator 279 on April the uh, 23rd. I, obviously, I, I'm guessing here that you you are expecting to submit him, right? Yeah, I'm going to take him down and I'm going to submit him or TKO on one of the two. Uh, how do you expect to, to finish him, like, you know, precisely? Um, I expect just to pressure him and then... Eventually, I think we'll get into a clinch or I'll get an underhook or I don't know. He'll get his head underneath me or something. I don't know. And then uh, I think I'll eventually just take his neck. I don't think he has uh, much to offer me as far as like um, technique wise or uh, I don't think he's been able to get that much better than the fights I've seen. So he's fought basically everyone that knows how to lose <clears throat> and I don't really know how to lose. So I'm going to probably go out there and put him away in like three or four minutes. Have you watched uh, Horiguchi's fight with uh, Sergio Pettis? No, I didn't even watch that. I was there okay. live, but I didn't watch. Oh. I haven't watched it back since, you know. I'm not really too interested in it. That's th Them two guys are doing karate with each other, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be trying to fight them, so I'm trying to take them down. I'm not here to kind of just do a whole karate fight, you know. Well, th that's fair enough, but weren't you a little bit interested, you know, in the championship uh, fight, considering that uh, you're next in line, actually? You you would have been the next one in line if it was not for the uh, Grand Prix. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, I think that I kind of knew that the tournament was coming. So okay. when I watched that fight, I was actually staged to, the, you know, they announced the Grand Prix that night. So I really didn't, uh, I haven't watched it back. Like I said, I watched it, it, the fight live, but that's not the one I'm studying. I'm studying all of his other fights, like the Darion Caldwell fight, the Ben Nguyen fight, the other fights where he, like, there was actually grappling exchanges where he had gotten taken down. I'm looking at his weaknesses. I'm not looking at his strengths. I think he had a lot of, uh, I think he was winning that fight, his last fight. But, you know, the end result is that he got knocked out. So, you know, I don't know. I just think I'm going to fight differently than Sergio Pettis, so. Yeah, for sure. Um, your fight with Horiguchi will serve as the opening round of the Bantaway Grand Prix. Uh, if you're in the final, if you you know arrive to, to the final, who do you think will share the cage with you that night? Uh, I think it'll be Archuleta or Stotts, whoever wins that fight. Preferably, I don't really care who wins, but one of them too. <laughs> um Many people underestimated you before your clash with uh, James Gallagher. How much did it motivate you uh, to be the underdog, you know, on that occasion? 
<clears throat> I was like a four to one favorite. So I don't know. People are like, that was weird. On the betting line, I was like a minus 450 or something. So I guess he was like a horrible underdog. If you bet like $20 on me, you'd win like four. If you bet 20 on him, you'd win like 104. So I was just thinking like, maybe I was like, I felt weird just going into the, you know, animosity, like where he's from, like enemy territory. And those guys, you know, that they, they really wanted their uh, countrymen to win. So that was the only thing that kind of felt weird. Um, did Gallagher do anything that surprised you on that occasion? Yeah, he was, uh, I don't know. I really didn't know he could be so annoying and get into my head, but he was actually pretty good at it, you know, having to spend all week with the dude and then him constantly talking shit to me and then trying to piss me off all week. It kind of got me uh, emotional, so I feel like I fought differently than I would have. I should have just maybe been a little bit more tactical as opposed to being more emotional. And he was good at that, which is, I don't know. I mean, it's very deceiving, I guess. You know, it's a good, uh, I guess it's one of his good qualities that he has. And do you believe that, let's put it like this, you learned your, your lesson about uh, your opponents talking trash uh, to you before a fight? Um, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I have to maybe have to go through the same experience again. And then um, maybe if I fight him next time, I'll be more uh, calm or, you know, uh, less reactive. But it's also hard fighting him where I fought him in Ireland at the three arena. You know, those fans are very hostile. So you kind of feel like your back's against the wall. And that's what you need to feel like. You have to give a reaction back. But um, my reaction should have just been more, a little bit more tactical instead of just trying to really want him to go out there and like, use up my energy and punch him or finish him as fast as I could, you know? But still, it motivated uh, you and uh, you, you actually performed quite well uh, that, that night. Yeah, it was good. I was happy to get a submission. I would have liked to have the submission earlier, of course, but um, it was good to get some cage time too. Um, yeah, I understand. I understand. Um, have you already picked your workout song for the, your next fight? No, not yet. I'm still kind of debating on what I should use. What do you think? You got any suggestions? No, actually, I, uh, it's not the first time a fighter asks, asks me, you know, to, to give suggestions, but uh, I'm actually the one who wants to, to get it from, from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, man. Uh, <clears throat> maybe All the Lights by Kanye West. Oh, that's... Like that's I've come out to it before, but I've been changing them lately, so I don't know. Maybe I'll change it. Who knows? I'm kind of just go with the flow type with that thing. Pechi, I finished my questions. Uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message that you would like to share with us today? No, you know, next Saturday night, Pechi Mix, uh, Bellator 279. I'm going to submit Horiguchi or finish Horiguchi, whichever. Um, and then I'm going to be a favorite to win this tournament. Thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. Hopefully, I'll hear again from you in the future. Thank you, Badassi. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.